your CBS 47 pinpoint weather forecast. Good morning to you. I'm CBS 47 meteorologist Justin Sacher. A few things going on this morning. For one, we have a storm system moving through California and we could see some patchy fog as well. So we'll start with a look through our Valley Cam Network. It is powered by Master Storage 365 and we take you to the Master Storage 365 camera at Avenue 13 and Highway 99 in Madera. You can see that flag moving. That is showing that there's a little bit of a breeze and that is helping keep the fog at bay. There is just a little bit of impact of visibility right now. All in all, however, it should be a fairly clear morning with uh, the worst of the fog just in a few spots. Right now in Madera, it is 43 degrees. We are looking at visibility of two and a half miles, so there is a little bit of impact. Might not get so bad. The National Weather Service actually removed the dense fog advisory that was in place for the valley. It was for the Central Valley until 11 this morning, but we'll still see some lower visibility, especially just to the north of Fresno and along and just to the west of Highway 99. Madera and Merced said all the way to Modesto could see visibility down to some thousand feet or so in a few pockets. Yeah, it's possible, especially as you get down to the San Joaquin River. You know that crossing on uh, Highway 99 uh, going into Madera County can get kind of foggy on a day like today. Looking at some more ice and snow on the grapevine. It is open at this hour. CHP is pacing traffic, so uh, there is movement there and Highway 58 as well. But as we look at satellite and radar, through the last 24 hours, you'll see how quickly this system just swishes down past LA. And this is going to continue moving its way south here as we look at the pinpoint forecast. It is really not in a position to bring very much more to our area. The possibility is there. However, we're still looking at some possibilities in the days to come that may not amount to much going through Wednesday. And then once again at the end, another possibility, but these aren't big rain or snowmakers. So I think we're going to see a nice transition on into the new year where uh, uh, things are going to be a little more quiet for uh, uh, time being. Pollen forecast from Dr. Ama Minion and the Allergy Institute keeps those oak and juniper levels, oaks the new pollen right now, down to low, low medium for the next few days. So snow possible in the Sierra as we go through the rest of the morning this morning, but it is uh, looking more and more slim as we go each hour into the morning here. Happy New Year coming up on Wednesday, Tuesday at midnight. If you're staying awake for it, it should be dry. We may see a little bit of patchy fog, but uh, as this morning's fog is not taking hold in as many places as it could. Good. Expecting the next couple mornings to be even lighter than today. Good. That's good so, news. People yeah, kinda... if there's people on the roads and mm -hmm. there are this time of year yes. because of... In between those two holidays. Especially yes. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's looking good. Okay, good. Pump for that forecast for New Year's. That's very exciting. We have been talking the past few days. We can't believe it's 2020. 2020. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> oh, you blink and then it's time flies. Then it's a new decade. And then it's a new decade. Yeah, 2030. Hmm. Let's think about that. <laughs> or not. Or not. Justin, thank you. Well, speaking of the new year, a brand new art exhibit.